Welcome to Tuesday. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am... I woke up late, so I'm really tired. <laughs> but I'm very excited to, ble to play Pokemon. Um, what's up, Matt? I was doing a bunch of my research last night, so I pretty much, um, here, I'll go ahead and transition to the game, um, but I was doing a bunch of the research last night, so I have a little, quite a bit done, whoa, oh, my switch turned off, that's what it was. I was like, what the heck? Was like, Something went wrong. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, what the heck? Oh. And of course, right at the beginning, my battery dies. So give me a second to change that. And as you can see, I was playing a lot last night because my battery percentage is at 12. So, all right, let's go ahead and open it. So, oh, so by the way, since the last time I've played, um, I kind of went shopping. Kind of got some new clothes and I kind of changed it a couple times. So, this is my new outfit. You'll see it in a second. Oh, also, let me go ahead and chain, turn the music off. My bad. I really love this, though. I would keep the music on if Pokemon didn't have its own music. Alright, so here's... Oh, nope, that's not my new outfit. <laughs> this is my new outfit. Nope, this is my new outfit. And I got some new hairstyles too, so... Oh, shoot. And this happens every time. My freaking switch, the sound decides not to work. There it goes. Now it's working. Yay! Okay, pretty, right? She's all pink! I love it! So her hair actually goes into like this bun or whatever, um, but since she has the handkerchief on, you know, or not the handkerchief, yeah, the headscarf, the bandana, whatever you want to call it, since she has that on, you can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I was doing a lot of research last night. I um, was trying to 10 complete my Pokédex. Well, of the ones that I have. I was able to perfect complete Bidoof, which is the easiest thing, might I add. Mibarel, not so much. I almost got him done. I almost got that one done. Um, Starly I tried doing. I almost had them. And then I tried looking for the final evolution um, here in the Obsidian Fieldlands, but I think I just have to evolve a uh, like, I've seen one here before, but I don't think it's going to be that easy just to capture one. So I'm definitely going to have to, like, if just evolve a Star uh, Staravia just to get that. Um, a Cascoon. I have to go catch some more of those. But for now, I want to go change out my Pokemon and then continue with the storyline. Because that's what we're here for. <laughs> And I have my coffee, so that's good. Ooh. And I have a lot more Pokeballs now. 
I want to see my Pokemon. All right, and I kind of organized it. So the first one is all the random Pokemon that I get. Oh, also, I got I got an Alpha Stantler. Stantler, so I will be evolving that one into a weird ear at some point. That one goes into specials. And this one can... I'll release that one. And I want to release these three. And the Abra. Because I have an Abra. Well, I have a Kadabra, but... Let's just release them. <laughs> what was right there? Was that the... Oh, the low punny? I also got a low punny. The Alpha Low Punny. I was I've been trying to get their research up too. Um and Evie trying to get theirs up. Oh no, it was the Beaverell. That one was up there. Okay, that one was already. I'm gonna put that back. Um I do wanna add this one to our team. I, you, and I for forever this way, this way. Wait, turn the sound up just a little bit. Um, since I was only trying to level the Eevees, I might put one of them back. Um, this one's a 54. Oh, I got an Alpha Scyther, too. So I'm going to evolve that one as well. That one's going to go in specials. Because these are these are all the ones that are my favorites. And I want to evolve. So. Wait, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We only have 7 Eevees. I thought we had 8. Unless I put my Alpha Eevee. No. Weird. Interesting. Um, and then these are all blank. Blank, blank, blank boys. The Crobat is level 60, so that might be that one might be a good a good thing to have on our team. Um Yeah, because it's higher than the Gyrodos and higher than the Scyther. Oh, which means I can probably get rid of that one. Oh, Flareon. There's the other one. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And then let's add the Crobat to our team. Or what do we have right here? We have a 2833. Oh, yikes. None of them are great. There it is, the Crobat. All right, so this is this is our team for the uh, the final boss fight. The final boss fight. Oh jeez, let's go. Let's go apply that. Hold on. We have two grit rocks. We can't even use them. We have these though. Grit gravel. Okay, that should be good. Oh, we can use this on our Sneasel and stuff. <laughs> and then the Crobat. Last but not least. All right. Okay, so let's go continue with the uh, the storyline. I'm pretty scared. Oh, let me get rid of the... Where to go? Where to go? No. Oh, it's right here. 
Get rid of the pen. Oh, shoot. Look at all the money I have. Jesus Christ. Oh, the Abra's almost like... Dude, do you know how hard it is to catch an Abra? That shit was so hard. Also, I caught so many Standlers. Why is it... I thought I caught more than five. And I'm almost to six stars. So that's good, right? <laughs> You and I for forever this way, this way. All we see is light. Oh god, that song is so stuck in my head. Alright, Alabaster Icelands. I love that word, Alabaster. Don't ask me why, because I don't know why. I just love it. The way that she's like... Ooh, a wisp! I'm cracking down on those wisps, too. My, my word! It's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound, in any case. Very few ventured to these alabaster islands, apart from the Tauhua leading the odd supply corps excursion to gather materials but the survey corps of course must go anywhere that pokemon are found <coughs> jesus christ <laughs> uh. whenever i get affiliated i'm making an emote that says bless you <laughs> but the survey corps of course must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irid Irida and Adamon to try to keep yourself safe. Chris, brisk out here, isn't it? How are you not freezing? We have the same ideals. <laughs> Freezing, I'm practically sweating. You think this is bad? Just wait, this is nothing compared to where we've, we're headed. I shipped them. She was born here, that makes sense. Does she say that in like the storyline later on? Which is, you're talking about that Gayrick fellow, right? Where did we find him? I ship, I, I ship them so hard. <laughs> Forever this way, this way. All we see is sky for forever. Uh, see you at Avalug's legacy, Chris. Take care on your way. Okay, so we're gonna meet all kinds of Pokemon. I just know it. Is that one? That is one. We're, we're gonna have to catch it. Ah! Uh, how rude. Alright. Looks like you're getting the berry. <laughs> Oh, you don't even care about the berry. That's lame. All right, well. This is interesting. All right, what does the map look like? So we're way over here. We have a ton of ground to cover. <laughs> a ton.
hun. Alright. No, no, no. Oh my god. You and I. Oh, I accidentally kept low punny on here. Whoopsie daisies. Forever this way, this way. All we see is sky. Leave me alone, Apum. A palm. Now, dude, these controls are so hard. I don't understand. Oh shoot! There we go, dude. What in the how? Why? What? Why are you so hard to catch? You're like a beginner Pokemon in this area. Oh, well, for that one, I do need to aim down a little bit. Oh, okay, even more aim down. No, there we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is this game the way that it is? You're gonna disappear, I just know it. See, what the hell? I just wanted to capture a Pokemon. Iron Chunk. Iron Chunk. All we see is sky for forever. We. Bergamite. Fancy. Fancy. I guess I didn't catch that guy. Low Punny is the lowest. I really just need to be leveling her. I didn't mean to add her to my team. <laughs> but in all fairness, I probably won't be using her for the fight, so... It won't be that bad. Oh, it's nighttime, isn't it? Oh, it quite is. Oh my god. All these wild looking Pokemon. He's so cute looking. Oh man. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. All we see is sky for forever. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. Maybe you just need to, oh my god. Dude, my foot is falling asleep just because I was sitting on it. Well, that didn't work. I thought that it might, and it didn't. The name of this Pokemon is called a pillow swine. Like a pig? <laughs> I 
mean, it, it's definitely supposed to be modeled after a pig, but that is so funny. Thank God. Pillow swine. <laughs> okay, I gotta get around this guy, like, to the back of him so he doesn't see me coming. Turn around. Turn around, bud. Oh! There we go. Dude, my foot has fallen asleep. A snow runt. Okay, dude, look. I love the detail. It's like she's cold. <gasps> Whoa. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. That didn't work. Be my friend. Be my friend. Hey, come back. There we go. A light. Dude. They're kind of badass looking. Damn. Why can't I freaking lock on to them? Hello? <gasps> Daddy. Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. <laughs> is that sarcasm? <laughs> this gentleman is Avalux Warden and my most honorable teacher, Gayrick. Please show some respect, Adaman. Let's begin with some proper instructions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Chris, right? Of the Galaxy Team. I feel... Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalug? Well, I mean, he's in a frenzy. <laughs> that leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? Um... It could trouble others. I have another question. Setting aside my orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? <laughs> can you just say, I don't know, to all of those? It's just be like, I'm just 15, man. I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalug, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Please try to keep it cool. Woo, shiver. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Pokemon here aren't as high level as I thought they would be. I did not know that was gonna happen. Lil Punny got frostbite! Oh no! Dude, 
this battle is so easy. Frostlass. 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 <laughs> I'm a strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as the crust of the earth is. And he says I'm calling Ablog's frenzy. You want to claim for that eternal ice he likes? Bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Dude, I'm cold. I need to tighten this. I can make the hole smaller. <laughs> that is, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is going on here? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even a Sneasler can- <gasps> Is this where we get the bird? I'm so excited, dude. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Pursuing Warden Sabi. <clears throat> Let me focus on my workout while I still can. This guy. This guy, though. Okay, so I have to get to her. Can I use... I can't use the Sneasler. Well, that was freaking easy. What the heck? Think you can get to me? Yeah. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Hello, my name is Sabi. Nice to meet you, Chris. Uh, pleasure's all mine. Right, you're super talented. I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Bavari's. Bav Bav Bavari's? <laughs> Help, I don't know. Oh, the bird has fire eyebrows. <laughs> Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Oh my god. Oh no. Here we go. Alright, dude, where the heck did she go? Oh, she went. Oh, did she go all the way over there? Jesus Christ! Why did she go so far away? What the hell? Ooh! Ooh, wait! Yeti Pokemon Boy! I'm so sorry! Give me a second! Ooh, shoot. Badoo! Beaverell! What are you doing here? Uh, 
I want to catch you. I want to catch you. Let me catch you. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, I'm so close. <gasps> Damn it! Why? Why? Why does he insist? Why? Why did he have to turn around like that? Nope. Jesus Christ! Uh, why? I just want to catch the Eddie Pokemon. Oh, shoot. Why must I be so bad at this game? Oh, Wisp! Oh, shoot. Oh my god, camera, I can't do this right now! Oh my god, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please leave me alone. Please. I just want to get a Pokemon. I'm so close. <gasps> there we go. Yes. Okay. Now go far away to where he can't see you and bend down. Dang. Maybe I need to use a great ball. Turn around. Turn around. The longer you do this, the longer it takes us to get on with our storyline. Here you use a feather ball so it goes further. Dang it! Oh, okay, good. We're good. Let's, um, So what, I can't catch him from that far? Why? whether we catch him or not. We gotta get up there. <clears throat> Oi! Why are you all the way up here? Bro. What? Chris! I don't know. That's for you to decide. <laughs> <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oi, vê. My feet are so cold. <laughs> Catch the sobby. Jesus Christ. Ooh. We're good, we're good. Lucky enough, there's a wisp here. <laughs> so I should get one of these guys. What? How did you? You weren't even turned around! What? What else? What else? Oh, this guy. How? How? How does that happen? I'm so confused. Machop! There's another guy right here. Hey, my chap. Yay! I got an electabuzz. Alright, I need to find my way to that temple over there. Yeti man, bye. Sneasler. I'm missing like one wisp in four regions. Dude, I I've been having like, I've been, I've, I felt lucky. I felt lucky while trying to find them, but at the same time, there's just so many. Like, okay, how many do I have? I have 42 and there's 107. So I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> What's up? Oh man. Oh man. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah! Wait! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. Is that a little bird with a turban on his head? It looks like a turban. Hold on. Dang it! <laughs> Stop! Stop following me! Now, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, there's a guy over there. Oh, get in the grass so he won't see you. Nope. We're in the grass now. I guess he's not wearing a turban, but it looks, it really looks like he is. Oh, we didn't get him. We'll get him later. Hiya. Hi again, Chris. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety numbers or something like that. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> what is what? I heard what the Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. Oh, jeez. 
look at pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking oh no we have to solve puzzles That's not great. <laughs> and I can't. No, please. No, please. No, stop. Leave me. Leave me be. Leave me be. I'm just trying to get through. Ah! What the hell? This brick is sticking out. So I feel like... I don't know. I'm reading too into it. I feel like it's super simple. <laughs> oh. But that's not, that's not that hard. Pay attention to which way the statues are... Well, yeah, I mean... Investigate, okay. This is gonna be... There are three panels fitted, so each panel has a pattern carved into it. Which panel will you press first? It's not gonna be right. Okay. Okay, so... What is that? The rock? No. I'm just gonna call it the star. The rock. And the circle. <laughs> so, circle, rock, star. Let's try that. Um, oh, okay. that's the rock, and then steel, and then ice. Oh, sweet! Yeah, no, that wasn't hard. That really wasn't hard. Okay. What? What, Matt? You want to come and say something? Say it, say it to my face. Ooh, wisp! Seventeen wisps in this area remaining. Okay. Ice. Rock. Steel. My... Ugh. Oh, there's a whole other pattern. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. See, I said it wasn't hard. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. So the first one we have is... Is there one over here? Okay. Steel. Ice. Rock. I'm literally gonna, like, keep track of it. Hold on. Steel, rock, ice. <laughs> Wait, okay. Ice. Steel. I'm not going to remember this. That's why I'm writing it down. Rock. Dang it, I hit caps lock. Why do I do this to myself? Okay. 
So steel rock, ice, ice, steel rock. Steel rock, ice, ice, steel rock. Oh, I missed something. Okay. Shoot. Okay, but this has to be the first one. Because it's the only one in this room. So this is definitely the first one. Yeah, so steel. Oh, it's steel ice. Okay, steel. Ice. I pressed it the wrong way. Rock. There it is. Steel, ice, rock, then ice. Okay, I think I got it now. Sir, Easter. That's what it is. <laughs> ice, and then steel and rock. Steel. Okay. I had two of them switched. That's what it was. Okay. So. First is steel. Uh, ice. And rock. And then ice. And then steel. And then rock. Rad. I feel pretty smart. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. Ah, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Low punny, go. I'm sorry, little punny. Um, Crobat, go! You're a high level. <laughs> um, cross poison. Cool. I wanna, ca I wanna catch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry, Sylveon. Alright, um, just play rough. Oh man, I wanted to catch it! Okay, well I know if I want to, I can always come back in here, but... Damn! Sad. Very sad. Okay. Sylveon, you get this. E HP. Now how about we use a revive on sweet low punny and crowbat? <laughs> and then we use a hyper potion. And just regular potion. Cool, now they're back to where they were. I just don't know if I'm gonna need them, you know? I'm not even gonna worry about you. Leave me alone. There you are. I just want the bird. Give me the burb. Give me the burb. 
Guess I've been cast. We're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyant? Clairvoyance, it showed me something else. I saw you flying with the Baviri. Bav Baviri. You think that'll come to pass? I'm, I'll make sure it does. <laughs> now this feels too tight. I feel like I have to constantly adjust this. Okay, it's fine. Well, however the future turns out, flying with the babiri, babiri isn't easy. Prove to me you're strong enough. Battle me. Okay, sure. I have to, so, you know, don't really have a choice here. Oh, shoot. She's giving me three super strong Pokemon. <laughs> I have Crobat first, so... Bro, all at the same time?! Jesus Christ. Oh, man! I'm so sorry. Sneasel, go. Dude, that Sneasel's huge. Oh, it's an Alpha Sneasel. I'm so happy I have that. <laughs> you defeated Rhyperior. You can chill. Uh, let's do a sh uh, no. Let's do a uh, shadow ball, I guess. <coughs> Damn. This is ridiculous. Double edge. I know I'm gonna get hurt in this, but it's worth it to defeat that guy. No! I mean, it's level 30. That's not that bad. Damn it! You suck, man. This bitch. There we go. Not so tough now, are ya? This guy. <gasps> Eevee can evolve. I have to be careful. There's a certain way that I have to evolve her. Because I don't want her to become the fairy type. Whoops. All right. Sabi. All right, Bivar. Biv I keep saying Bivari. It's Baviri. Braviri. Bavi. Bra oh my god, I can't say it. Braviri. Bravery, bravery, bravery or bravery? I don't know. Why not test out Chris' strength for yourself? Oh, now I have to. Battle this guy. Night Slash. Ooh! Oh my god! <laughs> 
All right, Sylveon. Well, um, do play rough, dude. I do. I defeated this guy in two moves. I have four alphas on my team. <laughs> we love us some alphas. Wait. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Open your heart to the sound of your flute. To the sound of your playing. <laughs> I got a sky play! Yay! Sure, having Chris fly around with... Uh, should be fun. Okay, yeah. I'm glad a world where people and Pokemon can live together. Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift could cause these frenzies? Do you think this is almighty Sinnoh's anger, or do you think this is a trial being put on us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and we quell last noble calm Avalog, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who would have been living here in Hussui for ages now. You're playing always with that. You weren't a big thinker. Hush, Sabi. I can feel history on the move. <laughs> and as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I may get able to... What? Get able. <laughs> Might get to meet almighty Sino myself. The question is, does this thing add on fascinating or bore you to tears? Why so many questions? <laughs> Chris, it's time for you to go through with be but brav bravery. Bravery. Sweet. This guy next four different areas. You can summon using the plus button or just simply jump. Is that what it said? <laughs> okay, so it's right here. Cool. So wait, okay. So wait, let me talk to you again. Just ask him to dive. Okay, so... We have to go down there. There's a satchel right here. Obtain a piece, just a singular piece, to make unlimited bombs. That's how that works. Okay, well. Is it night time or what? I can't tell. Okay, I'm not gonna eat. Um, yeah. So cool. Uh, 
I love this. Wait, go this way. Ah! Okay, we're good. Is this eternal ice or is this salt? Crunchy salt. Investigate. Oh no, my arc phone is ringing! I obtained a piece of eternal ice. Just a singular piece. Oh my god, this guy. At last the summit is conquered! And I see you've made it too! Flee down to this place and obtain the eternal ice. Did you... What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Gayric the eternal ice. I do have respect the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalog. Meet me at the Ice Pick Arena. Oh, there's so much to do. <laughs> now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Jesus Christ. Just, yeah, I was trying to overcompensate for something. Alright, where is... Over there? AK. Why does my camera hate me? Go this way. Go this way. Choke! Why, if it isn't Chris, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalok. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? I feel like Volo has some secret... Because he's just like this random character that shows up everywhere. I feel like... I feel like they have a secret. Like, maybe it's like... What if Volo is Arceus in human form? That would be wild. All right, onward now to the arena. Let's go. Perhaps not at the cost of my life, so I suppose my freezing digits and I will be all. Okay. Oh, I'm a choke, not right now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay, sure. Oh, I didn't mean to dive, but whatever. Holy crap, Machomp! It's my chomp! Wait, where is this? I'm so nervous for this one. I know that I could just keep starting over, but like my heart is gonna like pound and pound and pound. <laughs> Ooh, shiver. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on the path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl ice 
Chunks of ice at you without relent. You will need unrivaled dodging ability. I, well, I'm going. Because I have no choice! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god! How am I supposed to avoid this guy? Um. Holy crap. Oh my god, what in the world? Well, that hurt me. Ow, what? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? What the hell? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I know the guy's moves now. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, let's continue. I don't think there's any progress to be made, but I know, I know. Freaking fail. Okay. I will send in a Pokemon this time. Because it keeps him down for longer, I guess. I don't know. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. There we go, okay, cool. Be aggressive, be, e, aggressive. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, he's only a level 56, that's not too bad. Oh, leech life, we have no reason to leech life because we have life, but whatever. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Huh? Okay, I should start using my higher level Pokemon so that I can actually level my lower Pokemon. Close combat. Go, Lopunny! Okay, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Um, maybe play it rough. A critical hit, Mountain Gale. Yes, Lil Punny, avoid that attack. All right, all right, all right. We're right here, we're right here. Oh no, he's... Holy crap. No, Lil Punny, it's okay. Close combat. 
It's super effective. Yes. Die, 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 die. I mean, you're not gonna die yet. I know you're not. Okay. Okay. Back to the back. <laughs> okay. We got this. No, we're good. We're not even, like, close to dead. If we get hit once, we're good. We're okay. Start over here. All right, and then as soon as he decides to... Okay, 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 okay. We're good. All right. Start the beam, start the beam, start the beam. We did the dodge at the right time. Look at us. Okay. There we go. We good. We're God. We got it. It's so good. It's easy. It's so easy. <laughs> oh, the play rough does nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, little punny. Okay, high level Pokemon. We're going to start there. Okay, um, it looks like Shadow Ball is going to be your best bet. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, so now if we die, some of our progress will be saved. We're good. Alright, go back to the back. Start over here. I'm, I'm being really, like, unnecessarily, like, about this because I feel like it's supposed to be easier to normal people, but it's not so easy to me. Try your worst. Oh shit, that one got me. Oh, that one got me too. Okay, Eevee, let's go. I died once on this fight. Yeah, I've died once so far. We'll see. Evie, you're so small! Baby! Oh shit. How are we gonna do this? Oh, that did nothing. You're literally gonna die, poor baby. Revive low punny in spam close combat. Okay. Um. Oh, Sneasel. I think Sneasel. Okay, I'll do that. Let me. I have a, quite a few revives, so I think that's probably a smart idea. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> ah! Shit. I'm gonna need jet. Let me give you some medicine. Just use potion. Okay. I think it's good to take the little pony back out. She only has two more left. The three more left. It just, it kills her on the spot. So it's really hard to fight with her on this.
That one worked. That one worked. Okay. That one's down. Yeah, I see you, bro. I see you. Sorry, that was a nice way of me saying your team is hot garbage. Oh. Are you serious? He's combining moves? Oh my god. That's for real gonna stay there? Ridiculous. All right. This is not gonna go well at all. <laughs> I know my team is hot garbage, but these are the best, the best Pokemon I have. So. Because all my other, like, Pokemon are leveled so low that it's like... At some point, the level just overrides the type, you know what I mean? Okay. We're good. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. All right, you're starting over there. That's good. The other thing, the last thing that got me was that I just, I can dodge at the right time. I just need to dodge at the right time. god dude i'm doing i think i do pretty good though this is only the second time that i've done it. <laughs> the first time i just didn't know how to dodge the attacks so the first one didn't count okay continue first one did not count <laughs> this is technically the first time that i've died on this fight doing pretty good we're doing pretty good He's starting over there. This is what got me last time. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Ugh! I hate that shit. You have to dodge through it. All right, send in a Pokemon, send in Sneasel. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to think of the best one I could. <laughs> I don't even think Cecil was all that great. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Oh, wait. Cecil's pretty good, actually. She just dies really easily. All right. All right. Avalug. Screw you. We only have a couple hits, dude. Oh. 
We literally have a couple more hits. And we're good. I would say, I would say Electrode was probably the harder, the harder one. Okay, this is where I messed up last time. Oh shoot, oh shoot! Okay, I can do the rest of this, it's okay. <sighs> All I have to do is dodge this correctly. All right, and then send in Sneasel. I got this, I'm good! It's okay! Shadow ball that shit! Alright, Perugly. <laughs> um, Night Slash! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really do shit, but it's something. This is the last boss, bro. Okay, literally, 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 we've got it. We've won. We won. We're good. We died twice, I think. Twice or three times, I forget. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, uh, my God. <gasps> Look at all of them. They all leveled up so well. Hello, baby. Hi, Avalug. You received the icicle plate from Avalug. Yay. He was huge. <laughs> you needn't look quite so downcast. But seeing all my almighty Avila quelled and by such a slight child. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> a child that fell from the very sky. Is this Chris girl some kind of monster in disguise? She's no monster. She is the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffered nobles. <laughs> Believe all my needs just as deeply. So she has feared more than any of us getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida. I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Chris has so much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help the Glaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Igrida. I knew you could pull that off. You quelled every last frenzied noble. Yay! So is that space-time rift gonna start closing up now or what? Probably not. <laughs> there's little there's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of the strange lightning, we should be able to, we should still be alright as long as we've got Chris. Indeed we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. I ship you guys! Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we pay Grim Old Commander Kamado a visit to see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Love it. Love it. All right. So, I guess let's go back to the camp, talk to Commander Kamado. 
Okay. Yes, I've got seven Pokemon. Most illumin- Oh, I didn't even get to see. <gasps> and we've got seven stars! Let's go to the village. So exciting! Mm. Oh, we you turn into a beautifly? Dang, no beautifly yet. All right, Commander. Tomorrow dawns, it will dawn in a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey core work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in history without fearing the Pokemon around us. Sweet. Alright, what a day's work! Finished quelling the frenzied lords. Nice, sizable helping of a potato mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and this, if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalok's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. Oh, sh I hit my cup. <laughs> Well, I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think that we... that... that... Uh, what? I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles would have wreaked if Chris never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing. Although, wait. If the rift were to disappear, wouldn't that mean Chris would be stuck here? Well, I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, we'll always have a home here in Jubilard Village, Chris. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us and it'll be another hard day at work for the survey call. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come on now, right? Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the, of the survey call, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Kaboom! I mean, Bakum! What? <laughs> Bakum? What was that? Disaster looming! Oh no! Go outside and see what's happened. Oh boy. Watch it be the entire Jubilee Village. Like, right. Whoa. This doesn't look good, Chris. Oh, it's... It's gotten even bigger. Oh, no. 
Some sort of trifle energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red! I have word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. It's ominous. Very ominous indeed. <laughs> What's this about, commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? This can wait. There's been more pressing concern that must need be addressed. Wait, that need what? The first strike of the strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it stuck the night Chris fell from the sky, did it not? It seems only natural that the two events must, might be linked somehow. Who or what are you really, Chris? A, 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 a survey corps member? <laughs> oh no, he's pissed at me. Indeed, you've done all I've ordered, but that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, Harry. Are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you brought you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Jesus Christ, this guy. Hold on, Commander. There's there's nothing to suggest Chris has wronged us. What if like Plot twist, I am the antagonist. <laughs> exactly, and besides, do you really, what if like the game forced me to be the antagonist? I know that's not like what it's gonna do, but like that'd be a pretty wild video game. And besides, do you really think she's got some sort of fearsome power it, it'd take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But the, no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Chris supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this last disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team! Consider yourself vanished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Jesus! This guy! Is that clear, Celine? Yes, sir. Look at how sad I am! How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Chris? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Like, I get it. I understand him. But, like... Innocent until proven guilty, right? And I haven't been proven guilty. Ridiculous. You were to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. I'm coming. This is so sad. Bye, Rezu. She's so sad looking. Can it really be true? I literally helped you like five times. Chill out. <laughs> These are your clothes that you sold to me. <laughs> How could anyone do such a thing? We didn't do anything! I guess we should have expected this from a stranger and from the sky. What the hell, man? What happened to being innocent till proven guilty? We can take it from here, ma'am. I'm 15! <laughs> However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village to the field lands camp. I'll come too. As, I, as will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the field lands camp. Safe travels. All... Oh. 
They decided... Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, they decided to be banished with us, but that's not what that means. <laughs> Jesus. I can't believe the boss would do this. You called all those nobles frenzies under his own orders. I know. Quite right. Moreover, did you, if even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intoler, utterly, utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such a logical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. <laughs> you will only cause Chris more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who I offer. You've been, you've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adaman, Adam, Adaman <coughs> and Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. But you could at least start to by finding Leon at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where May would be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die out. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Oh, Cecilian actually does really care for us. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you'll meet both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. That's deep as hell. All that truly matters is if you hold firm to your own values. Ah. This game, serving, serving some life lessons. <laughs> this game is serving all the life lessons here. What if the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokédex? The dream simply won't come true without you. Seek out Leon. All right, well, I guess let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie daisy. Wild Lavington's not here. Usually he's at every single like it's wild. Alright, Leon. I'm in trouble here. Help me out, man. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift! If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from the rift was a disaster. Well, Duh? I mean, did we not know that from the beginning? Help? Well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not like I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. <clears throat> I, tru I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden May might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find her at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. Dang, okay. Oh shit. Ooh. My bad. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to dive. Whoopsie daisy. Dude, I feel so bad for this main character. <laughs> I keep accidentally diving instead of just... <laughs> my, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the galaxy team if things ended badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weirder took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Nobody will help us. What do we do? Damn. I needed that picture for my... <laughs> for... It was so cool. Shinx! Hi, babe. What if all the Pokemon in the entire region just decided to aid me? <laughs> you know how OP I would be? How powerful I would be? Volo, yes, help us. I knew it. He's like some special character or something. Found you at last, Chris. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're quite in the pinch. No place for you among Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be a perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Alright, give me a second. My camera battery has a died, per usual. All right, let's get back into this. Ooh, my blanket, I need it. Oh, I thought she, I thought she was sleeping. I was about to be like, how cute. All right, here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know that beggars can't be choosers. What is going on with my hair? Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat. <laughs> the retreat. What region is this in? Is this still... Shh. 
tricking your work to be to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn of Hisui's myths and legends. Oh, she's cute. No, Mistress. Thank you. Just Kogita. And this is... Why? Chris is the woman of the hour. <laughs> I'm a 15. I'm not a woman. She's the one who called the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Lost one? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. That rift in space-time must be mended, lest, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. I hope I finish this story in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> the space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The expanse from antiquity to, to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time, below, <laughs> below, below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future, while space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? I mean, you really can't. Perhaps the truth is clear to a war to a wanderer such as you, one who know who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. He so he holds three Lakes of great importance, Lake Ver Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Aquity. Aquity. And at each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each set to you and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. You may receive the Red Chain. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Oh my god. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? I mean, of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing it. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the locations of the three lakes. Miss Kagita's got a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? That is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Chris. Okay. Abra! He's so cute! It's got a letter addressed to you. Interesting. To Chris, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I'm also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have very confidence in your ability as an adept uh, Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Celine. Aww. Celine. This isn't selling an easy task. It shows you one of a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist. Irida! And Adamon! Make sure my people for now, the wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Uh, 
We are to undermine the commander's direct orders relationships with Ghost Strain. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. Sort of near her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Oh, dang. I kind of want Irida. I like Irida more. Let me think it over. <laughs> like, hold on a second. Wait. <laughs> Leftover, think again. <laughs> Chris trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can't let you so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky one oh, and the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes and we can fill you in on the details as we go. I just feel like I've done more with Irida. Like she's like there's been more 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 lords to quell with her. The first task is to decide which of the Great Lakes to finish first. I mean to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would be only make things it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. Alright, Yurda. You and Chris, will you two do what needs doing? Make out, make out, make out, make out. All right, which can be found in the Crimson Mirelands. Okay, so let's see. Oh shoot, this is a cute little area. Um, Verity, Valor, and Aquity. I mean, first, first, Verity. Let's do Verity first. Oh, it's this little area over here. That's cute. Um, Myrland's camp. This is wild, to say the least. Okay. So where is Lake Valor? It's over here. So I guess I'll just mark this. Wild. This game has a great storyline. It really does. Good job beating Avalok, by the way. It seemed it seemed easier than electrodes. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, it was a little easier than electrodes battle. So wait, okay. Where am I supposed to? Am I supposed to go to that cavern right there? I mean, I kind of assume so. Okay. Yeah. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. So there are, all, oh, I was supposed to go to Verity. This is Valor. Oh well, Valor first. There is that say it was carved out by the midst of a Pokemon battle. The lake is protected by Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what the legend would have us believe. 
Your arc phone is beeping. <gasps> Bruh. Bruh. A cave appears where there was none, as if just for Chris. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'm kind of nervous just a little bit. In an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave? Oh man. Watch yourself, Chris. Those quills look vicious. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Let's fight him. Really? I have to go up to him? Okay. Can I catch him? I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna try. Ultra balls, activate! Ghost, diesel! <laughs> Alright, I got all my pokey- my- okay. Uh, blizzard that shit. But don't kill him. Sorry, Sneasel. Per ugly. Let's go. <laughs> Next would be Crobat. <laughs> um, I want to do something that's not gonna quite hurt it all the way. Oh, that's okay. Let's try and catch it. Damn. Okay. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. This music is not so, as loud as I thought it might be. Yay! We got it. Easy peasy. You feel a mysterious presence. Ooh, cutie! Show to me a yielding will. Strike me if you can. I have to battle you now? Okay. Wait, bombs? Are you meant to try to hit yourself with them then? I don't wanna. Did I get it? You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this fully? I'm not done yet. How are you supposed to do this? You're supposed to like sneak up on it? Will it still turn around if you're sneaking? Damn. I do not want to abandon this folly. How do I hit this guy? Now I gotta figure this out.
until it's asked if you'll stop a few times. Then I'll do. Okay, so we just hit it until we. Okay, sure. Okay, no, I don't want to stop. Give up, your struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I'm not done. I didn't even hit you! <laughs> what? <laughs> Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Fancy! I feel like the chosen one. A, a Zelf's Fang. Fancy. Alright. Alright, let's go. Come on, Irida. Looks like that worked out well, Chris. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travel. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. One more, actually, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebears once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I have still never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Mm. Sure. Let's go back. We got one thing. Your doubts are just a keen intellect. I see you're not the clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, without the mind, were the rift to win and, and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I, what? So does the mind create the world, or is it the other way around? Such, such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They are to urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right! Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. <laughs> in any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Okay, let's go. Let's do some more. Uh, I guess let's go to... Lake Verity. Is it weird that I'm still low-key scared of the Alabaster Islands? <laughs> I shouldn't be. Okay. This is very fun. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna take the Sneasel up there. The Sneasler. The Sneasel? Yeah, I'm the Sneasler. Lake Aquity, you know, I've been told they actually contain seawater as well. Nobody knows why. It could be a fluke of geography, but or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. It's protected by Pokemon Uxie. Uxie or Uxie? I don't know. When Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. Fancy. Well, let's go in. This one looks cool! Could that be the dreaded baneful fox? We're gonna catch him too. Hope we're gonna try to catch them. Dude, you look so cool. Zor Zorork. Zorork? Zorork. Zorork. Hopefully Blizzard doesn't kill him in one go. Okay, cool. So we're not gonna hit him anymore. We're just gonna try to catch him. Jesus. I need this Pokemon, so. <laughs> you don't catch the first time, we're just gonna- <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> Oop. Sweet. We were told stories about it as children. A oh, sweet. A oh, sweet, a baby. I just try to hit it again. I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magaton, Dusclops. How many how many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one yet yeah, all at once. Can you repeat that? Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magaton, and Dusclops. Oh, okay. I have to Answer your, enter your answers together. Wait, okay, so combis three. Combis Zubat is two. Combi Zubat. I don't remember. Wait, okay, hold on. I'm going to repeat it again. Combi 
Combi is three, Zubat is two, Unknown is one, Mag Magneton is one, and Dusclops is one, so it's three, two, one, one, one. We're gonna try that. I forget how many Magneton has. Use your Pokedex. Okay. So clearly that wasn't the right answer. So, combi... Find combi. <laughs> combi, combi, combi! This, oh! One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Zubat has none. So six, zero. Why did I think Zubat had two eyes? Six, zero. Hold on. So it was the combi, the Zubat. What was after that? I mean, I need to write this down. Six, zero. The Dusclops has one, so we can put that in there. Magneton was before Dusclops, so we have to find that one. Did I not get a Magneton? I don't remember. I've never caught a magneton! I don't know the answer! Jesus Christ. Oh, it's... Okay, so I was right for the most part. Oh, here we go. Yeah, unknown. I forgot that that was... A, so it's... So it's six. Combi, Zubat, unknown. Magneton is three. Dusclops is one. Okay. So, yeah. It's six, zero, one, three, one. Six zero one three one. That was tricky, but only one more to go now. Yay! Let's go. We're doing this all in good time. It's only been 15 minutes since I started this part. <laughs> I assume all went well, Chris. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it all fell into the wrong hands after all. Though on the other hand, what use would it would those have wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. <laughs> the red chain's as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. Cute. So, shall we return to Mistress Kogita's home? Yes, let's go. 
Wonderful! Then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insights to share with us. Fancy. Love it. This is Uxie's Claw. I do wonder if anyone else has ever competed the trials of these lake Pokemon. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon been glimpsed seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. Those on the those what oh my god. <laughs> One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that the Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey Pokemon, but to subdue it, should we, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon were to truly appear be from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Hisui's great fastness stop you, Chris. Let's go finish, get the final, final item we need. That's the spirit! watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. The ruins. Let's go. Last one. Alright, we've got this. I've already caught the unknown that's back here. No, I need to catch that. Alright, I caught this unknown. Alright, I'm here! Hello! They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It's protected by a, hum a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that the first f learned of joys and sorrows of living. Oh, uh, that's how the old tales go. <laughs> Your arc phone is beeping. Another cave appears. You know, I was too busy being amazed to mention this before, but the professor was right. The arc phone of yours is incredible. <laughs> what surprises wait within, I wonder? Mistress Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. The question was never for the faint of heart. Well, let's go. Baby! This is the one I was trying to get. Oh, so I was trying to get this one, the one that's in the Highlands. But it's so hard to get. It's like a level 70 something, and I couldn't. It wouldn't let me get it. <laughs> this one's only a level 58, so that's not even too bad. I am so sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Perugly, it's your turn.
I'm so scared that one of them is gonna like kill it. <laughs> and I don't want it to kill it. Alright, that's about good. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hit it anymore. I'm just gonna try to catch it. Alright, throw an Ultra Ball. Get it! Get it! Please get it on the first try! 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 Please get it on the... Yes! I'm so excited! That's so exciting! Judy Pokemon battle as if there's no obstacle that can't overcome if people and Pokemon work together. You feel a mysterious presence. Alright, last trial. Baby! All right, what is this trial? What do I need to do? Your emotions, share them with me. Well, they're yours here. <laughs> if that's all I need to do, can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with Pokemon like that. When you fell into this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? Uh, I mean, it's a wide world. What did you feel when, ca when cast out of the galaxy team? Life is complicated. The last one! Look at every time she's like surprised, does that surprise face? It makes me laugh. <laughs> she was. It's so funny to me. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I, some, I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. That's all three lakes behind us. I wonder what our next stop will bring. Well, let's go and see. Let us be on our way to the Shrouded Ruins. Mist is very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. For somehow to bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need to s a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. You've arrived just when we've assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean that Pokemon that flits about the Hisui region? Oh, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? What are we to do? Search the entire vastness of history for an answer? You got your little Pokemon buddies. The Pokemon of the lakes.
Isn't it obvious that they would help us? I thought I, I knew that, kind of. The red chain. It's so, it looks like a necklace. So it was true. The pact, the pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can see this burden, set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Chris. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Corne himself. <laughs> Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself? Well, he doesn't know yet know that our Chris has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell them about the chain and everything Chris has achieved before he sets out. Exciting! Poor Ray, he's so sad his friend is going. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Just boom. Wait, Chris, it's you! I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear, Chris. Professor, I know you've been worried about Chris, but there's no need to cry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders if you please, Ray. <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. Oh, who has a crush on us? Just ignore him, Chris. Anyway, where's Captain Sealing? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her at the survey call office. It seems her hands are more full now that Commander Komodo's gone. He set out for Mount Coronet with the survey call, with security call. He's determined to handle this whole space time of business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security call, folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. All right, I have to pee really bad. <laughs> I'll just, I'll get through this cutscene. I'll get through this cutscene. We have to try. So you managed not to die, just as I've ordered. Well done. Let's see you. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is that Abra finished its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use? I got this red chain. So listen, here's what's up. <laughs> you explain, you explain about the red chain you obtained. Legendary tools that divine the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. Security Corps have been scouting the area near the space time rift and they reported sighting, sightings of seeing something out there on, on the other side. Dude, I cannot speak. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain as so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss might be tough, but it seem, it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Chris's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Chris, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to its peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to prove that. To approve that. If he didn't wish to decide me things in the first place, he should not left me in charge here. And I go as well. We're all in this together. We're members of the survey call. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. <laughs> Alright, before we... I have to pee really bad. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay. Ooh, it's cold in here. Ooh, it's cold in here. It's so cold. All right. Let's go. We've got like tw like 15 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh. Irida! Did you find the commander, Chris? Commander's already at Mount Corone. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? <laughs> That's men for you. <laughs> first, first expelling you, you, Chris, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. <laughs> As leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh, who reigns over all space, I can't go anywhere in the vast history that I please. And now I'm going to go stop the commander. Well, Irid, I'll wait for us. Wait, who is the reckless one? <laughs> Ooh, little child. And... That's right. Chris worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right. And did a fine job she did. The survey call is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here at the village, as well as the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. A max revive. Fancy. The orders are three. One, make for the summit camp and from there the temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Yikes. Dude, I don't even know if we're going to get to this last fight <laughs> before the end of the stream, but we'll see. Whew. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here's some max potions for me to celebrate. Yay. It looks like a big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you've worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamon and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Chris, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret lo losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Call in sick! I can't! <laughs> I cannot! <laughs> Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. If anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for support, for moral support at least. Okay. Well. Oh, there's no- Why- Why doesn't this guy go any higher? That's kind of lame. I'm just gonna use the Sneasler. What? Excuse me? I have to go this way? What is the point of all this? Oh, shoot. You know what? I'll just use, um... Ah! Whoops. Oh my god. What? Hello? Oh, the cave. I'm dumb. <laughs> I was 
trying to go up. I was like, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Now, who are you? Are you the waiter guy? It is the waiter guy, what the heck? Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there right now serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster Kamado has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds ways to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Benny! Oh my god. This guy. All right. You easy. Easy. Turn that down a little bit though. This just got really loud. Don't you dare! And you're dead. That was on you. That was your fault. That was on you. A sneezler. All right, per ugly, let's go. I tried to catch that one. Last one. Last one. You don't have any life to... Oh. I thought it... <laughs> okay. Let's use... Uh... It's gonna kill us, but I think it's a good idea. Alright, let's go on. Let's do... A sil no, let's do Crobat. No! All right. Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Ah! Battle decided. Seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Yeah, you dumb bitch.
All right, just let me pass. Let's just let me buy. Oh, shoot. Well, thank you, babe. No. You don't have to do all that. Oh man. Oh man. Well, we got like 10 minutes? <laughs> pissed at him right now. The commander in his full body armor <laughs> without a helmet, just a just a headband. You again. Give me his event to be a welcome idea, but I can truly put my faith in such tales. Yeah. You're not going to beat this thing with two two Pokemon. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Which one of us is stronger will prevail. Well, uh, it's obviously me. Duh. Doi. Okay, let's go. Let's battle it out. Go, Sneasel. Alright, um, Shadow Ball. Bitch! One down. Three to go. You look like a little rock turtle. Okay, Perugly, let's go! That didn't do anything. Oh, but he didn't do anything to me either. Let's try, um... Ooh. We get more moves this way. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie daisies. Alright, two down, two to go. A Snorlax! Um, which one has the most? Probably that one. It's gonna kill us, but whatever. Alright, Crobat. If you want to win. Use the X Scissor. Push that. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> Barely anything, really. Oh, shoot! All 
Alright, Sylveon, come on. Alright, last one, last one. Baby doll eyes. Jesus. Uh, come on, our last one. There we go. One more move. One more move and we got it. We got it. Look at us. We defeated the commander. Yeah, dude. Commander, how often do you fight with your Pokemon? Because I fight with him every single day. Every single minute. You are a force to be reckoned with. Aww. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Is there another battle that I have to do? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there will be, but... I'm just not ready yet, because... Uh... There's a voice in my head, no, in my heart. It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then. Do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh might be speaking to me. It's telling me you hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls! Ayy! Oh, no, I'm going to have to fight this right now. <gasps> it's Arceus! No, it's not Arceus. Is it Arceus? It's not Arceus. You know what? I don't know who Arceus is. <laughs> the red chain. Okay, your your name is Palkia. Cool. <laughs> oh no. I'm dumb. I thought that was Arceus. I saw the face and I was like, it's Arceus! Because Arceus is a very similar face. And then I saw the body and I was like, never mind, it's not Arceus. Well, I almost got him. Maybe I should try to catch this guy. I'm gonna try to catch him. No, he died. Dang it. <laughs> I wanted to catch him. Oh no, see, there he goes again, because you have to catch him. 
Oh no. We have to... It said try to catch me. Okay. Well, let's go try it again. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I've got I've got 4 minutes. <laughs> Let's hit him a couple times though. Okay, I really don't want it to die by frostbite, so. Ultra Ball, we got this. I only got four minutes to save the world. I know! <laughs> the pressure is on! Did I catch that first go? That's not Sinnoh, bruh. Bruh? Marvelously handled. Space time grows cut. Witchy! <laughs> the power fails. The first you want to know comes to fight. I finished catching them all. Bro! Only one to go. That's amazing. That's what I'm trying right now in my off time, is I'm trying to get them, catch every single one of them, and it's so hard. <laughs> Cause I've had to like go, oh no. Oh no. I have to do this in two minutes? Or can I take a second? Commander, you really thought you could do this by yourself. <laughs> They're like, let me run back! <laughs> oh god. All of you, we must vacate this. Forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. Shiver. So, okay, so this is like the pre-fight, I guess, right here. Friends of State. So two of our clans are following different almighty Sinnohs, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events! <laughs> Hearing the commander speak so differently. Okay. Come on, come on! No. That chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I've gathered those. Upon my word, perhaps I do. Could you lend me those plates you received from weirders in the other? Yeah. Come on! Cutscene! End! <laughs> You're on the back of the... How do you mean? I 
Maybe ask for your claims aid once more. Of course. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Oh! I rejoice. Um, now I'm going to see all the value of my role in all this. Just for respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job. You want to drop on your jewels? Take a hint. Mm. You're totally great. Well done. Alright. Oh my god. I brought Leon. Oh my god! I'm like trying to read it so fast. <laughs> I'm like not even reading it out because I just need it to be done. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. So, here we go. We, we've stopped. We stop at this. This is, this is the, here. There's, there, oh my god, the lighting is wild. Alright, so, next time, maybe instead of, uh, oh, no, tomorrow's Wednesday, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but on Thursday, oh my god, wait, I wanna, okay, I'll switch it, I'll switch it. I'll play Pokemon on Thursday, and then I'll villager hunt on Animal Crossing on Friday. How about that? That sounds good, that sounds good to me, alright. I will, um, put on... <laughs> Put on some Spotify. All right. Let me. Oh my God, where's my mouse? All right. And I will see you guys next time, I guess. Bye. Bye. Bye, Matt. Bye, everyone.